Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, April 11th. We just got to the studio a little later than usual. We chilled out in the morning, had a good time, enjoyed our coffee with Becca. Filming Sound Design Saturdays yesterday and, and actually spending that time to make those sounds myself, I thoroughly enjoyed that. That's probably my new favorite segment of the entire vlog. Aside from Sunday Funday, I think Sunday Funday is my other favorite and that's just because, you know, starting my week on Sunday, looking at the work I have for the week, I think that it doesn't really get any better than that for preparing, for setting intentions, for just getting the work that I need to do done. One cool thing that happened to me yesterday or the day before is I am signed up for this website called Sound Better, which is for artists to basically be hired to do their thing. Whether you're a vocalist, producer, mixer, arranger, you name it, they're on Sound Better. Uh, a lot of the vocalists on there are actually like semi-finalists for shows like The Voice and American Idol and stuff like that. So you could find some really, really talented people on there. But uh, this is like the second time in two months that I've been hit up by someone wanting to learn how to produce music. And so I've reached back out and we'll see what happens. Uh, really exciting that these kinds of opportunities are coming about and that the quality of my music is bringing people to the point where they're asking me for help. We gotta edit the vlog, we gotta get that posted. And then coming right up is Sunday Fun Day. And here we are, level three, unit two. Let's get right into it, shall we? Here we go. Unit two, suspensions and anticipations, sine waves, sample bass synthesis, max for live. Starting off, we have our keys video, suspensions and anticipations. In this lesson, we'll look at how to use suspensions and anticipations in your harmonic writing covering these points. Suspensions, anticipations, chords built using suspensions, using suspensions in a composition, using anticipations in a composition, composing in D minor slash F major. All right, over to the left, all of the keys assignments reflect exactly that. And then we move into an ear training video, this time on sine waves. Sine waves classes are, ear training classes are, why we use sine waves, frequency and note relationships, and then the class notes on sine waves, followed by a ear training review set. Moving forward on to synthesis, sample based synthesis. Okay, synthesis classes are using a sample to make a lead, vocal chops, granular synthesis, creating a sample based instrument, contact libraries, the class notes on sample based synthesis, and then a project on sample based synthesis followed by a discussion. Next up, we have Ableton Max for Live. In this Ableton lesson, you'll explore Max for Live, a powerful environment for running effects and other devices that are built into Live. And the Ableton Max for Live classes are finding and installing Max for Live, the edit window, Max Devices Convolution Reverb Pro, Max Devices Instant Haas, and drum synths, max devices, LFO, envelope follower, pitch drop, and then max help and resources, ending unit two of level three with the class notes on max for live. All right, this seems like a pretty straightforward unit. I am most excited for the sample based synthesis. I already have a whole bunch of contact libraries, so it'll be really, really interesting to dive into that. All right. That is it for Sunday Fun Day today. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, April 16th, and we just got to studio quite a bit later. We pretty much took the whole morning off. Just kind of needed a little sleep and needed a little refresher. So we're starting Monday off a little bit lazier than usual, but you know what? That's the whole reason we start our week on Sundays. Sunday Fun Day yesterday. This week is looking really, really, really good. Um, I'm really excited to jump into some of the synthesis stuff. I think this morning we are just gonna get right to it. We had a nice early lunch and we're ready to just get to work. So short and sweet little Monday intro. Welcome back to another episode of Mental Health 
Monday. I don't want to take too much time today. I really wanted to talk about addiction. Alcohol and drug addiction is running rampant. The mental health issues that are going on underneath addiction honestly breaks my heart. I have had multiple people come forward and talk about family members and people that they know who are suffering and all I can do is pass them the knowledge that I have through getting help myself. As of right now, I am just over seven years clean and sober. And I only share that with the hope that that kind of honesty can inspire you to reach out and get help. I'm honestly not even sure where I wanna go with this. This popped into my head today. I have a heavy heart for a few people who I know are really going through it. Whether you're a family member who's been affected by someone's addiction or you're struggling yourself. Like, I just wanna tell you, like, I've been on all sides of this. I've experienced it, I've hit many different bottoms and it's taken a lot of hard work to get to where I am today. One thing that I wanna convey by doing something like these Mental Health Mondays, like I don't want my social media, I don't want these vlogs to just be about the highlight reel. I want it to show that through hard work, through getting professional help, through being in recovery, that there is help out there. Yeah, I was once absolutely hopeless, absolutely bankrupt, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, even physically. I was facing court charges. I was facing huge work repercussions. Like my life was, I thought, over. Uh, I know I've shared this before and this is kind of heavy, but like at the time I didn't want to live, but I also couldn't end my life. And so when your soul is empty like that, and you don't want to exist, that, that's almost a fate worse than death. So I, I just want to say like, whatever you have the capacity to do to help others, do it. Because I know in certain situations, I just don't have the emotional and mental space to help. And that's okay too. Just feeling pretty heavy. Just, just feeling heavy hearted today. There's a lot of people on this earth who are suffering. If there's one thing that I want my music, me, these messages, this vlog to represent, it's that there is help out there. No matter what, there's a way out. Whether that's a community support group, a 12-step group, being able to see a therapist, there's something out there for everyone. I was lucky to be exactly where I was at that exact time to get the help that I truly needed. Other people aren't so lucky. And addiction is a killer. It is a deadly disease. I'll end with this, you know, rather than tearing people down, and how about instead of concentrating on the problem, we move towards a solution. No matter what you might think, that person is down and out. They are struggling. The last thing they need is for you to kick them while they're down. Let's employ compassion, let's employ empathy, let's listen to people's struggles, and let's focus on solutions. If you want to reach out, I am here if you need help. All right, that's it for Mental Health Monday today. Studio time, studio time. It is Tuesday, April 13th, and we're jumping right in. There's no time to waste. It is chill out. Tuesdays. We actually don't have our therapy session today. We usually have that at 11, but we are exploring doing um, in-person. And so I've had about two or three in-person sessions so far, and we have been doing EMDR work, eye movement desensitization. And basically what that is, is it's deep trauma work where you basically pull up memories and in a nutshell, try to heal your subconscious. Um, because a lot of behaviors and thoughts come from a place that you might not even be aware of. But yeah, we are jumping straight into Unit 2 of Level 3. And this will be the Max for Live classes. And then we'll just have 
a project or two to complete and then we'll be done unit two. Almost forgot we actually have a Q&A coming up and we've actually had these people before. This is the group The Roommates and they are a duo icon grads. They do a lot of vocal tracking. This time it's going to be all about publishing. So yeah, that's around two. I'm looking forward to that and we're going to get to work. That was such an informative Q&A. The Roommates, two icon grads, teamed up and they basically have created a name for themselves and worked with many 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 good artists um this q a was all about publishing and i mean if you're newer at producing it's gonna basically sound like a foreign language it's a very very useful thing to know and just listening to their publishing journey, getting picked up by a publisher, it's much like anything else. It was a grind. They had some trial and error periods and, and finally they found their fit and it just kind of worked out. They got this opportunity um, from someone and crazy enough that the, the artist that was associated that they needed to work with was Selena Gomez. And basically it was like, uh, we got a session with her. She's working on an album. You're coming in on the session, and if you do well, then we'll do another session the next day. And if that goes well, then we'll do another session that day. And if that one goes well, we want to sign you. Like, talk about the pressure is on, right? But you know what? Hearing this kind of experience is so invaluable. These Q&As provide so much value in just them connecting these dots and listening to their experiences. He also went over contracts, what to look for, what to not look for, and that was some really, really good information as well. Publishing, it's a whole other ball game outside of the whole signing tracks, your mastering rights. It's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. Super, super good Q&A. Big thanks to the roommates again. And from what I hear, they're coming back. So really, really excited about that. And we shall talk to you soon. Good morning to everyone. It is Wednesday, April 16th. We're in the studio and we are working on our second to last assignment for unit two. Basically this whole assignment has two different parts to it that are somewhat challenging. So what they have us doing is not only creating sounds from samples, but we are actually tasked with creating the samples themselves. So I've taken a bunch of different stuff around the studio, including my own voice and thrown them in there. Check this out. So I actually took my water bottle and let me just kind of hit this off of something. You probably heard that in the mic. So I actually recorded that and I got this sound out of it. Basically getting creative, grabbing random stuff in the studio, recording it on my, just my desktop mic, my Razer mic, and throwing it into Simpler and Sampler and trying to make a little song out of it. I mean, the texture of that water bottle strike, like I would legitimately use that in a track. Like that sounds really, really cool. Uh, but anyways, that's what we got going on this morning. At one o'clock, we have our therapy appointment in person. Let's get to work. Welcome back to another episode of WHIP Wednesdays. WHIP stands for work in progress, and this is my vlog segment where I show you the tracks that I am working on behind the scenes. I got a little bit of a plan coming up for WHIP Wednesday. The idea is that I basically become the kid's bop of melodic techno. In that, I want to recreate a bunch of classic tracks. I have a goal to basically take this new style that I've been working on. Uh, maybe for these, there'll be a bit more techno than kind of fusing some uplifting in there. But, you know, if there's an opportunity to fuse multiple genres, I'm definitely going to take it. I think I might have a little bootleg remix pack that I could potentially give away after I'm done. That's what Whip Wednesday is going to be about for a little while now. And I wanted to show you the first track. Uh, let me show you the bass line first because I think that that sounds really good. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm calling my remix for a techno angel. Classic Paul Van Dyke track, one of his most popular tracks, one of the most popular tracks, dance music tracks of all time. We got that and then we have this plucky bass here. <laughs> And then of course we have the basis of the melody here and yes I pretty well I'm yeah I'm pretty sure I sound designed all these two which whew, uh, that's just kudos to me good job so let's hear it with the this is the basic melody of the track <laughs> Loving it, loving it. And then of course, the iconic piano. I might change this one out, but honestly, I love this piano so much. I found this driving kick, I threw it into Simpler here and basically kind of shaped it a little better and I'm loving it. It's super, super driving, so. And I mean, with the kick and the groove, the bass and the melody, the kick really brings it all together for this style. And then I threw in this little offbeat hat pattern. I'm feeling excited about this idea. Uh, I've wanted to remix a whole bunch of classics for a while. I just feel like a lot of these are overdone. And so to make like a congruent remix pack and kind of me venturing into this style, this is kind of neat too, because this also incorporates the sound design that I'm doing for Sound Design Saturdays. So all the segments kind of like piggyback off of each other. You know, I, I already have an idea for my Future Friday segment that's coming up and it's a really, really good tip that I'm gonna be using all the time. All right. That is it for Whip Wednesday Today.